In this video, I'm going to be showing you just the basics of FreeCAD and just how to get started with it. So this is the page that you come into whenever you first open FreeCAD. This is the Start Center. You'll want to take your mouse and go up here to the top where it says Start. If you click on that drop down, you want to find Part Design. Click on Part Design. Now we're using FreeCAD 0.17. So this is a newer version at the date of this upload. So we have selected part design and we'll go over here to the corner and click create a new document. So now we have a new document here. Now it's just a blank screen, you have nothing there. So what we're gonna do is go up here to the corner. It's, it looks like a white page with a circle and a square on it. That's the create sketch button. Select a plane you wanna draw your item on. I'm just gonna draw a box. So I'll take the rectangle tool and make a box. And if, you, if you're used to like Blender or different softwares like that, if you right click and go, not in sketch mode though, if you right click, navigation styles, you can change it to CAD and different um, softwares that you might be used to. So I'm using it in the Blender Format so middle mouse wheel to scroll, shift and middle mouse wheel to pan, because that's what I'm used to. So let's go back into our sketch by going in the model tab, click on the arrow on body, and then double click on the sketch. And what we'll do to make this into a box is select these two lines and give them an equal constraint. So now both of these will always have the same dimension. So we set a dimension to one of these lines, we'll do one inch. Then now it turns green, which means it's fully defined, and this is a one inch by one inch square. So we can close the sketch, and now to extrude it, or as in this software it's called pad, it's this button with that little box, and I will tell it to pad out one inch. Go enter. So now we have a cube here. It's a one inch by one inch cube. And say you want to add a pocket or a hole into something. What you can do is click on the face and click the new sketch button. So now you're making a sketch on this face. So it's mounted to this face. So we can make a circle here and if you want to center it what we can do is over here in the corner there's a box with a blue box behind it. If you click on that, then all these line tools will turn blue, and that turns the whole into construction lines. What I'm gonna do is take a construction line from here to somewhere in the middle, and from here to up here. And both of these lines I'm going to set to half of an inch, so 0.5 inches, same with this, 0.5 inches. And now I have all those dimensioned, so if we zoom in here on these two dots, click on them both, and use this constraint here. This is the coincident constraint, so it'll put two dots together, and now that circle is centered. And to set a radius, this is a little bit different in most softwares, but this sets a radius, not a diameter. So a radius is just from the center to the outside. A diameter is all the way across. So if you have a three inch wheel in FreeCAD, you would have to put in 1.5 because it's just the radius. So for this, I want, I want it to be a half inch hole. So we'll have to do 0.25, which would be a quarter inch, enter. And then there's our circle perfectly centered in the middle of the square. So I'll close the sketch. And up here in these tools, this is the pocket tool. So we'll click on that. You can see the pocket kind of popped up in there. And we'll make it go all the way through. And you do, we, when, one way you could do that is set it to like a huge number, like 10 inches. Yeah, it'll go all the way through. But one of the easiest ways is just clicking through all and type. You could dimension up to two dimensions. 
if you do through all, now it'll just go all the way through your face, and that's the most simple way. And we'll click OK, and then we have the pocket through our cube. And you can do that to any of the faces or and draw like whatever face you want. So I'll do this real quick, and we can draw using the line tool here. We can draw just a crazy shape like this. And then close our sketch, pockets the sketch. Looks like we have a, let's go back into the sketch, zoom in a bit here. And these are all, see I made these all construction lines, I forgot to change it back. So you can select all of them and then click that and it'll change them all back to actual lines. And now they're there and we can pocket it, do through all. And now we have that shape. And then of course you could even go on these faces and add sketches, but we, we're not, we don't need to do that. So I hope you guys found this video useful on how to get some of the basics on FreeCAD. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.